What are your marks in 10th, 12th and graduation? Is it great marks? Average? Below average? So, even if it is below average, don't worry. You just need to have answers, proper answers for the questions that you face during your SSB. Okay? I'll tell you my scenario. My 10th percentage is 80. Then it in 12th, it became 67 percentage. Yeah. And then in graduation, it uh, went to 70. So, like the graph is like this. Like there is a drop and then slight increase. That's it. So, you can definitely expect a question like why your percentage was low at this point in your life. Definitely this question will be asked if your percentage has dropped in between. In between or in graduation, whatever it is. Okay. So, you need to have clarity. You need to prepare your answers right now if that is the situation. Uh, because that shows the clarity in our thoughts. I'll tell you my case. Until 10th, for me, different subjects were interesting. Plus one, plus two, I don't know, for some reason, I hated almost every subject. Except biology, chemistry I didn't like, physics I didn't like. Max, what on earth was it like with trigonometry, not trigonometry, uh, this uh, integration and uh, differentiation. I still don't understand that subject. So, I told uh, like, uh, you know, till 10th, I was very interested uh, with all the subjects, but plus one plus two didn't, uh, you know, I was not very curious to learn about those things, which I regret, like I should have uh, got better marks, which I haven't. And I was more into extracurricular activities, this is what I've told them. In the, in 10th, if I was only into arts, in plus one plus two, I was into arts and sports. Degree though, like first two years, I've not even gone, you know, got into my classes because of NCC. So... But in a polite way, if you communicate the same, uh, stating that like there were, you could have actually done better uh, with your marks, but uh, you don't have any regrets. It's that you have got better experiences in life. You can just communicate about it, but like have clarity and think about the answers before attending your SSP. Okay.